we did find that you know dropped by nearly half the the probability of of going blind within uh, 20 years of diagnosis of glaucoma, and then we also found that um, the population incidence, so you know the, the number of people in the population who actually go blind from glaucoma, had also decreased during that time frame. It is a testament to. The, the, the work that has been done by everyone who's involved in glaucoma research and uh, that involves people who are involved in basic science trying to understand the disease better, uh, people who are involved in translational research to look at better therapies and um, new medications, new surgical techniques. I think all of that has really contributed to improving how well we can manage uh, the patients that we actually diagnose with glaucoma. So I actually don't think we're diagnosing patients earlier, which, which is um, one area of, of concern and an opportunity to improve glaucoma management. Um, but I think what we really are doing better is the ones that we do diagnose, um, we are, we're certainly managing the disease better. Now that being said, a lot of them still go blind. You know, nearly 14% of patients who were diagnosed with glaucoma during this later time period between 1981 to 2000, still went blind um, within 20 years of diagnosis. And uh, so even though we've gotten a lot better, there's still a lot of work to do to better understand the disease and better manage.